Hello. <laughs> Tammy Schuster, Dawn, it's me, Josh. We're just kind of waiting for people to start joining the live. It's 8.30 on the nose. Um, I figure what we're gonna do is let's just start getting set up. I don't know, can't tell if anybody's watching or not, but let's just start getting set up um, for the live and then we'll just keep checking back with it. So. Um, because this is recording and going to be on the, uh, you're going to be able to view this. Hey, Tina's on there. Um, we're actually going to set you guys up in solitary confinement. And what's going to happen is we need your help to spot anything that might be a little out of this world. What do you think of the initial tour that we already had? Good, crazy, creepy. Good, crazy, creepy. Don. Good, crazy, crazy. Well, you guys have never even been here for a regular tour, no. so when we pulled up, it was very interesting. You, you guys, your reactions were very like you were just, oh, this is it's, insane. It's massive. So this place is huge. What did she say? Like two hundred thousand? No, two hundred forty-some thousand square feet. Yeah, it's it's obnoxiously large. And before we get you guys set up with your portion of the the live stream tonight, hopefully it, it stays working. We got to set up all the cords and everything for you. You're actually going to be in solitary. But we're going to be investigating. Huh, you, you might be able to hear us out here doing this, but we're going to be in here investigating, which this was the east cell block, isn't it? West. This is west? Yep, west. West cell block. Yep. Yeah, this would be this cell block here. There's a west cell block. Our little home base in there, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, they've got all sorts of cool stuff in here from the Shawshank movie. This is the East Cell Block. This is the one that I really get kind of creeped out in. Feels good though. It's nice and cool in here. Um, actually, should we just take everybody for a quick walk around? We can we can kind of um, do a quick tour with these guys before we set I'm up. Oh yeah, you've been carrying the cord. Put it over by solitary. Yeah, so what we'll do since, before we get you guys set up with your part, and I'll explain what that is here in just a second, we're gonna actually walk you guys around and show you what Gary, uh, the lead investigator, showed us. Yeah, we can set all of our stuff over here. I'll set my charger over here too. Um, we're just gonna do a quick run through really quick. A quick one through really quick. The equipment you guys will be using is the music box. I'm going to set a cat ball up in solitary confinement. And the cell that they're going to be investigating, um, in there, it's actually a cell where an inmate was murdered by another cell or another cellmate. So um, we'll just do a quick walk around these big cell blocks on the ground floor. And this big video is going to come out in October. But God, doesn't it feel good down here? It does. So. Yeah. This is where we're at. Tammy, were you getting any initial feelings or anything? Only down solitary confinement from those two cells. I remember where I stopped by those two and then he came in and said that the one was where they were seeing the... Like what kind we of... We didn't walk down here real far. No, we didn't go down here at all. It's massive, like it's overwhelming. The, the chair room, my whole body tensed up. But the attic, for sure, for certain, the third floor catwalk. Look how high up it is. Yeah. This is the largest freestanding steel structure, I think he said, in the world. Yeah. My throat closed in one area. The attic. No, not the attic. In the, um, the what's the catwalk? Um, the last stretch where you gotta walk from here. I don't think we're gonna be allowed on that tier. No. Did he say what was that? Was it the third tier challenge? Is that what it was? Yes, so yes. you had to walk around the third tier yes, alone. All the way around the whole U. Yep. So let's actually go to a couple rooms that he didn't show us. Okay. So it'll be the first time you guys are, are seeing it. Yeah. yeah. We, didn't do well. we got till 3 a.m. It's just the three of us. <laughs> just the three of us. Just the three In the prison. We got uh, our guides are hanging out in kind of our area. This was the bath oh this is he said we can go anywhere where there's a door that's open is this one of the shower no oh the toilet room is what he called oh, this toilet room yeah storage 
<laughs> but I mean, I guess this could be a true exploring video. Hopefully I don't run out of video or battery on my phone. There's steps back here. There's steps. steps. Yeah, it goes. Oh, they got it roped off. It looks like a bunch of old, like. He gave us a warning in, in one of the uh, rules was not to shut any of the cell doors because they have no keys. <laughs> Darn, I really don't care to come back in this room. It's kind of gross. So. I think there was another room. There's the, oh, the uh, car wash. So inmates would come in here. By the way, if you guys never toured the Ohio State Cemetery, or the Ohio State Cemetery, where are we? The reformatory. Uh, it's worth coming in. Uh, somebody asked if we could go upstairs. Yeah, we can go up um, all the way to the attic. They're giving us access to areas that you're not typically able to go to on a regular day tour. So the inmates would undress, walk naked, scrub and rinse all the way down this, uh, this little walkway here. This would be their shower. Yeah, I can't go out that window. Gotta remember that's the side of the building we can't film. And maybe somebody would sit there and just be like, okay, hey, you're not doing it right. <laughs> uh, I got Tina and Zach watching and eight others on our live. Um, I think the library is up here. Uh, library and yep. pasta? Yeah, we might as well just walk up here and that way. No, we were kind of given a brief tour, which was awesome because are you guys able to see behind me? Yeah, just watch your step. There's the be the medical hospital area, the new medical. The old one I want to go up to because we didn't have access to it the last time I was here, but he said there's a bunch of bats up there. Where's the windows we can't film okay, over there? So this? this is the hospital. So for anybody just uh, checking out the live, we are going to set you up in solitary. And We're going to set you up in solitary, and then you're going to be down there with the music box. Can't go over there, huh? We can go over there, we just can't get in the window. All right, wanna go up to the library? It's kind of cool, uh, Gary, who's also the, their lead paranormal investigator here, he played an EVP for us when somebody was up in the library and they got the whisper of somebody actually saying library and it's very crystal clear. This is where it gets like super creepy. Photo op. So it's going to take you on the, what tier is this? Does it say? I don't know. I think this is the third. Three. Yeah, this is when we got to do the challenge later once it gets dark. And by the way, it's a full moon tonight, isn't it? It was last night into tonight, yes. This is the library. Where are we? The library. Is 
see it's still a little bit light outside. Find any good books? No, you. What do you see? Like court stuff. Oh, like a law, a law, uh, yeah. law book. Is it? Reference? Ooh, there's a really cool breeze right here, but I'm not saying it's paranormal. I'm just saying it feels really good coming through that window. Oh, kind of hot in here. Yeah. I can't go over there. We'll see if my shirt still holds true at the end of the night. <laughs> so anybody just tuning in, we're at the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, Ohio. We're ready to do a paranormal exploration video, basically a paranormal investigation. We won't be doing all of that on this live. Halloween weekend, it'll come out. Because there's going to be a lot of footage. Um, is there... I'm going to take the, the viewers on a little solo trip around here. This wouldn't be considered the challenge, though, because it's not dark out. But this is what the challenge is supposed to be at night, is you're supposed to walk, walk down this tier alone and walk around. If you're wondering if you've never been here. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what their cells look like. Um, it is just me. Tammy and Don are on the other side, probably getting ready to jump out of a cell at me. The idea is when you're walking down here alone after it gets dark, you're supposed to be able to hear and see and feel things. Let's see, they're not back there. I don't know how much. <laughs> Throw some paint on those walls. <laughs> A little spackle will fix it right up. If you've never been out here, it's actually worth just doing a tour, but this is like... I would not touch one of those mats if my life depended on it. Less hand sanitizer than I expected. I think. I'm lost. Oh no, we gotta go up there. Hey, where'd you guys go? Okay. All right. What the? That's not cool. I don't know why I'm finding myself checking each cell. <laughs> I'm looking for apples. Ryan will understand that reference. I 
a day in the life. Okay. Oh, there's milk. Gotta take that. Oh, he killed him. He dead. I hear talking. I think it might be Tammy. Can I just count this as the challenge? That was pretty easy. Can I just count that as the challenge? That'd be pretty easy. Uh oh. Where are you? Did they close that off? We were gonna hide in one of the rooms and jump out, but I didn't think I was here yet. Um, where was the chapel at? Is I think it's at the other end, isn't it? Chapel. Because did we just come down from there? Yeah. I think we gotta actually walk all the way down back over there again. Because I wanted to take everybody up through the chapel. Go into the chapel and we're going to get married. Did you shut that gate over there? No, I didn't shut oh. anything. I don't know if I was supposed to go through there, but I did. If it was shut, you weren't supposed to. You said you had to go all the way around, so. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I just did it so I didn't run into that thing in the middle of the night. <laughs> can't film out. Well, you really can't see anything out over there anyways, I guess. Sorry, I'm making everybody dizzy. No photos out the window. I don't know how much battery is left in my phone. Oh, the thing, these are double bunk cells. So yeah. But they were they were keeping like four or five inmates in here when they were like um, when they were oh, at past days. capacity. That's why they had riots and lawsuits and so two people, people were. Have to sleep in the bed? I don't know how. I honestly don't know how they would do it. They'd be spooning. I mean, yeah, you've only got... They'd be doing something in there. Yeah. And then if they, like, put you in a certain area, like, they all push. the doors would shut at the same time? Yeah, I think that's at the end of each of these... Um, in the guard thing? Yeah, that, those little... that. Remember when you said, hey, this is where the inmates are? He goes, no, that's where a, a, a guard would be? Yeah. Like, that's where he would have his lever. Lever, not lover. Lever. Uh -huh. Lever. You call it one thing. Uh, oh, you went uh, it was there. the other way. I'm like, you didn't go up there. No, I went through. That takes us down. Okay, wait. That's the guard up here, right? I don't know. I'm taking your word for it. And we are lost inside a prison. If a door is closed, you can't go through it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the pretty room that we that we saw just after. Oh, right here. I can see the cat, the catwalk yeah. up there. Uh, the cat, uh, you can tell I'm a music lover. I got a song for everything you say. Sorry for making everybody dizzy. I'm dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. God. Holy Toledo. All they're hearing is me going. <laughs> huh? Oh, the uh, the old hospital's up here. I'm gonna kind of go up there really quick before the bats come out. This was the chapel. You do know I'm old, right, Josh? Paranormal Exploring Season 2. If you guys don't know, we just launched a new website, paranormalexploring.com. Check that if you get a chance, because you can sign up. I'm just flashing the camera. You can actually sign up, and every time we post something, it'll email you. If it doesn't annoy you, watch your step going down. Uh, we know where we are. Just well, roped off. Oh, go, go back in. <laughs> go, 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 go. We're trying, we don't need to go the other, oh, we wanted to go down here. This is taking us over to the administration. I think it's kind of funny. The chapel is what stands between the administration and where the warden would live or the superintendent, I think. Let's go see this real quick. We'll wait right here for you. You go over there. Let's see your back. Oh, there's like, I've never been up here. This isn't open for like regular tours, so. I wonder if they're watching this down there in the, uh, sure. they're like, and this is where the bat attacks him. <laughs> oh my god, this goes like... Okay, there are feathers. 
This floor doesn't seem very stable. This goes like, this keeps going up. Oh my God, this is so freaking creepy up here. Just be really careful because it looks like that landing area was kind of rough. Held my fat ass, but. Holy shit. This is the original hospital. He said all the bats are up here. Okay. I don't like this. If you're just checking out the live, we're at the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, Ohio. Three of us have the entire place for the night. We're gonna set you guys up in a solitary cell where an inmate killed another inmate. We're gonna set you up down there with a music box and a cat ball while the rest, while we uh, search the rest of the uh, prison. If you can, if you spot something, oh my God. Yeah, you come up. Holy shit. If you spot something, comment. That'll, that'll timestamp it for us. So when I go edit the video, I can, uh, I'm sorry, this is just really freaky. I'll know where all the action is. This is the old hospital. I think the ceilings are up high enough to where if any, there's any bats, I think they'll stay up towards the top. He said this was the original hospital because they remember they believed that they didn't want the hospital on the lower level because they wanted they didn't want the sickness to come down on the inmates. Hello, glad you guys could join. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this big up here. Yeah. But you're thinking this is probably somewhat of a TV hospital too at some point. They did warn us that the bat, there's a big bat problem, and I know you guys didn't see it, but uh, we got attacked by bats at our first location. We're probably gonna have to go back down to solitary soon because that's where I'm gonna have to plug you guys in. Can't really look out this window because there's another facility over there. If y'all want me to shine the light in a certain place, just let me know. This comment, I can see your comments. This is creepier than the uh, yeah. other hospital. No, the other attic will take you guys over there. Uh, they shut the freaking lights off in me when I was at it's the most active place in here It's a lot of dark energy. So the history of this facility was it used to be more for people that were um, Charged with minor crimes. They'd come here literally to reform reformatory, right? Well after the Ohio State Penitentiary burned down that was a maximum security prison They brought everybody to this prison which that's when it was past capacity and that's when all the violence started these were violent criminals with your criminals that were only in for like driving drunk one too many times or something that's minor, um, maybe theft, things like that. So when they did that, our next stop real quick, because I'm afraid my battery's about to go dead, is we're gonna stop over to the attic real quick. Um, I don't remember how to get there. I have no clue. Well, let's go back down the stairs. Well, anyways, this attic, this attic is where they say that uh, people who have come out here to investigate, they get scratched. If you sit in here, one of the, one of the challenges that we were given was to sit in there for 15 minutes with no lights on. Where the hell are the stairs at? What's that? I don't know. I can't get out of one room at all. I think it's down. Oh, it's down here around the corner. Yeah. yeah. We are a really good ghost. Watch player. your step. That's a... Whoa. Yeah. So... We're gonna go over to the. That's how you get out. That must be a, a high bat area. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this was, I've never been up here before. The attic is also closed off to day tours. This is where I saw the downstairs from through the floorboards and I'm like, rent around. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> Library. No. Y'all yeah, walking fast and I'm in the dark. No. Chapel. 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 Was it down here? That's where the, um. That's the administration. This is the, where the, where the, they would, where they, the families would live. They live, yeah. So the attics have to be, let's run through where the families live really quick, just to, oh, I'll show you guys the Shawshank stuff. If the camera goes dead, give me like 10 minutes and I'll be, we'll be plugged back in down in solitary because they do have power running through there. This might look really familiar to you guys if you watch Shawshank Redemption. This is the chair room. Probably. Yeah, you want to see the chair room? Yeah. Yeah. Which you can't yeah. really see it. Yeah, I smell food. Yeah. Like somebody's cooking something. Yeah. 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 They probably They're probably popcorn. cooking popcorn downstairs. It is popcorn. I smell popcorn. Yeah. They said that you're supposed to be able to smell food in the. I can smell it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's popcorn that they're doing. Who's talking to us? There's the chair room. Yeah, uh, we're lagging just because we're further in the building. Yes. So this is one of the other challenges to sit in the chair for 15 minutes, no lights on. Ohio State Reformatory, Mansfield, Ohio. All right, let's jump over to the attic really quick because I think this built, we're to the point where we're so in the middle of this building that my signal's kind of getting screwy. I have no clue where we're going. I'm trying to find the attic. I don't remember where he said it was. Yeah, I think they're cooking the popcorn. If we go down there and didn't have popcorn, then that's a problem. Yeah, that's the attic's gonna be up over here. Okay. Maybe we leave a walkie-talkie with them so that we, if we get lost. Maybe, actually, maybe it's over on this side because didn't we come from? Maybe it's over here. We came up through the. So maybe it's over here. I think it is over here, actually. I don't remember. We're on tier six. I don't remember where that. Well, the attic would be up there, wouldn't it? It has to be. There's a door over there, but it's closed, so it wouldn't be that. No, it's open right there. That's where we came through to start yeah. with. When we came in. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Look how dark that is. Oh! Okay, Dawn. <laughs> I don't think this is the attic. We didn't walk down the long hallway. No. The attic. Something just popped in one of those cells. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yes. And it's not us. Come on, Dawn. Something's coming out already. We did not walk down this I know. in the attic. So you guys are seeing live. Josh is going to get us lost in the prison. It was nice knowing you. Is she back there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There, there'll be a little bit more to this. We're just kind of lost. Uh, we're way lost. We never walked on the sixth floor all the way down here like this. We have to come back the same way we just went. I think we're on the wrong side. Yep. I say we should have went down and been plugged in and go find it. I have no clue how to get there again. Do you remember walking down there? Mm -hmm. Did no. Walk down there? no, I don't think so. 
Ah. No, we never came up here. But are we on, which side are we even on? No, you can't go, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to walk back over here. That's fine, though. No, that's fine. Like, I'm going to kill, kill my light so you guys can see. Oh, my God. Like, there's, I mean, we're getting a little ambient light from outside. Boy, I bet if you really were looking, you could probably see a shadow figure. Not used to this light. Oh. It's just creepy all by itself. Yeah. I can't imagine having so many inmates in here. I mean, thousands. I'm trying to find the attic. I just don't remember how to get there. I don't even know if we're on the right side. I don't know if we are. I don't think we are. I think we went back to the side we came in. So I think it's on the east. I don't know. It's much easier with a tour guide getting around. I'm spent. All right, we're towards the we're at the opening now. So there's the. <laughs> East cell block. We're on the we're on the wrong we're on the wrong side. Yeah, I know. I think we got to go to the other side. We just did. Are you sure? Yeah. Did we? I thought we came up the. We just went out the other side though. Never see what's we on. just went out that door. That takes you over to, that's the chapel right there. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, I was right. We went in the wrong one. Here's the attic. The attic's over here. So we basically, we took you guys through the big steel one twice. Now we're above the big, the big like cement one. Um, this is really creepy without this light on. Yeah. Look at this. This So this is where they housed everybody who came from the... Uh, Ohio State Penitentiary. These would have been your like, um, these would have been the, like the worst of the worst. Is there a light switch back there so we can just show them what it looks like? Yeah, I, don't know. I think it's right here. Yeah, yeah. So think of picture it this way: the duct work's not here. Um, that big X in the middle is not here. And the challenge is they're going to have us sit all the way down here. And this is like much larger than what you think it is. What are you doing? Yeah, I was going to say that might be a, that actually is a good idea. Um, people will get touched. What did he say? People get touched, they hear things, you can hear the scuffling of feet like this. Hang on, I'm not down here yet. You think about, you get like 200 guys up here and there's no air conditioning, it's super hot. That was really weird, it felt like somebody was walking right next to me. Hang on, don't, don't shut them off yet. I want to see what this is back here. There's like little, I mean, these must have been the bathrooms. All right, go ahead and shut them off.
Oh my god. Dude. Dude. Did you flash a light down there? That was really weird. All right, I'm going to do that again. Keep, keep them off for a second. What? You didn't turn them on? Yeah, turn, turn them back off real quick. I want to see something. Or, yeah, just, just hold off. Like, I'm going to shut this off because like, if I let your eyes adjust, you see stuff. Go ahead and shut them off. I'm going to shut my light off once those go off. Yeah. And just let your eyes adjust to the darkness. Was that you? Did you hear it? That was... I, I hear the HVAC stuff. Yeah. Um, we are at the. Well, hold on. Let let's like let's like sit quiet for a second. No, like sit quiet for for a couple minutes to see if we hear anything. Are either of you guys moving down there? No. Because somebody just somebody just walked in front of that light. If you guys are wondering where the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, just doing this live real quick. So, I could. I could see a light over here like glowing but I, it's like it's definitely it was in the doorway it, it touched me that's crazy it touched me there's definitely like some ambient light from outside that i could see but somebody walked in front of it yes and there was like someone walking in the hallway with a flashlight and something touched me that's crazy i was didn't move i was just holding the light and it touched me and I turned so yeah this is the attic this is where they would have housed all those inmates where they say there's a lot of activity so we'll come up here a little bit later on not with the live cam i'm just kind of i'm just kind of showing you guys around a little bit um we're going to take you now down to solitary and get you set up with your equipment but where'd it touch you at my arm did it scratch you no i don't think so what'd you see anything uh no i didn't yeah, I could see a light flashing out here. Yeah, I said it looked like it's, it's on, I could hear footsteps, and it sounded like, and it looked like someone was walking with a flashlight, swinging a flashlight. Well, there is that. You can still see a little bit of outside light. Yeah. So if we were trying to debunk anything, I don't know though. All right, let's go down to the to the main. That freaked me out. It touched me. No, I could hear footsteps, and then I, it was like it was like this. The light was swinging. And then all of a sudden, something went like this. I, I seriously just heard something. Yeah. Like, just walk down quiet and see if we hear anything weird. Like a cell 
See, so we're, we're where all the nice cells are. <laughs> That's what I heard. What? That, that alarm. Oh, I heard a cell door. I heard that pop, but the, what stopped me in my tracks was that alarm. Oh, I heard a cell door shut. Uh, that looks like that goes all the way down to the floor. I wonder if this is the way to go here. That's the glass room. Oh, he's got that. He got That's it. the glass room. Yeah. Everybody's getting dizzy. Like oh, I stepped. That was the step I stepped on. No, it come from the corner. Oh. It wasn't by you. Because I stepped. Up, I popped the oh, step. No, it wasn't you. It was over in the other side. All right. So we are on the main floor. So we got to remember, if we're going up to the attic, we are. We're, it's over here on the. Where are we at? Um, west cell block. So right from where we. Started. So and now we're back. Yeah, it's right next to solitary. So now we're back to where we, we turned you guys, um, we brought you guys on. So pretty much what we're gonna do, I was kind of explaining it as I was walking and then I stopped, but we're gonna set you guys up in the solitary confinement area right over here. Um, that scared the crap out of me for a second. Um, the cell you're gonna go into, that is where an inmate killed another inmate, hit his body underneath the bed. Uh, apparently there is a lot of stuff that happens in there. So you're going to be set up with the music box and I'm going to put a cat ball. Remember the cat ball, when you touch it, that starts going off. Hey, do we want to go down to the basement real quick before we get these guys set up? Because we never saw the basement. We might as well take us, take them with us. Yeah, let's do it. They didn't really seem too excited about anything that happened down here. I've just never been down here before. This is going to be underneath solitary confinement. Oh, it feels really good. This is not. He doesn't want us to go this way. This way we can go. Okay. Oh my God, it's like, like holy shit. This is creepy. I've never. Watch out, this is all uneven. Yeah, it's, so there's no cells down here. Or are they over here? Could you imagine like screwing up and being put down here? Yeah. Oh yeah, here's the cell block right here. I think. You feeling anything down here? I'm closed right now because that thing just scared the bejesus out of me and I touched you know, trying to get it out of me. Yeah, I thought there were actual cells down here. Oh, uh, if you come through here, watch out. So you saw something light? Yeah. Like a light? No. It was like cloudy. Oh, okay. I just saw a shadow figure over there. I just saw it on the camera. That was not cool. Like I saw something walk across that doorway right there. I've been touched. You got a shadow figure on camera, and I saw Casper. <laughs> she saw <laughs> Casper the friendly ghost. I could have sworn I saw like something. What? Watch your head. That's weird. Sorry if I bounce you guys around too much because I see my camera. Remember how we got in here? Yeah. So this is the. Oh God. She's trying to pick no. up rocks. 
Ohio State Reformatory, Mansfield, Ohio. The video is going to come out around Halloween. We haven't even done the investigation yet. We're just kind of doing our initial walk around. But that's not going to take us anywhere. No. That's um, not. We just wrapped up our tour with our guide. And once we uh, get you guys set up in solitary, which we're low solitary confinement right now, we're going to head off to our stuff. We just got to set up all of our power. They haven't even started yet, and we've been touched. Look at these shadow figure. Big ass like pillars. Yeah, I wonder if the actual cells would have been on the other side where they got it blocked off. I don't even really. I'm not going to go down there. We have the entire place to ourselves. There's three of us. And 5,000. Like, kind of outside. Oh, that was outside? Yeah. That one was outside. I don't want to go. I'm not going to go back here. I just want to peek my camera around the corner. Watch out, Bob. Oh, this steps down, yeah. Yeah, careful. Uh, oh, yeah, there's like cages and stuff back here. Yeah. Looks like. It's all wet, though. We're not going to. Restricted area. Violators will be removed from premises. We won't go through there. He said second cell on the left. No, it was down further than the second. It was the second. From second, the end. second from the end. Yeah. All right. Solitary confinement. Do um, you guys want to grab the equipment? We'll get the camera set up and then I'll Can set the light on. Some raw behind the scenes stuff you guys are seeing. <laughs> like, I know it might seem boring when you're watching. Um, if you want to check back in throughout the night, hopefully you won't get too much lag because we are in solitary, but there are windows in solitary. Um, you can keep checking back. What we'll do is when we go to take our breaks, we'll keep coming back and updating you guys. But you can keep coming back. And which way do I got to go? Let's leave the extension cord right here. Let me just drop that. So this is solitary. Oh, I see we're dropping viewers. Oh, well. They're what? They're loss. I think we were up to like 20 viewers. Now we're down to like eight, but. They'll come back. This is what a, he said this was actually one of the newer solitary cells. So after the um, maximum security inmates came in, these cells were installed, and if you can see them, they're literally like no. No uh, bars, I doubt I bet you I'm going to get. Here's the bed. Guess it smells like dirty toilet in here. We're not going to screw with They didn't even pull the locks back. So then the old cells. Oof, I just got. Here's the two that I stopped at, and he said he's seen the one there. These are the two that I got freaked out at in the tour. And then I stopped right here, and then he come down and said, I've seen something right here. Yeah, yeah, you guys stopped when I, I think I was. Okay, these are the old cells. This is the original solitary. They're not even open. I don't even want to. Excuse me, CO, there's a hair in my food. Can I get another plate, please? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get another tray? My milk is too warm. Second to the last. Yeah. Did we even go down all the way over here? No. But the second one is where... There's stairs over here. Oh, there's a whole second floor of... What the... Did you see this? 
This is why this is called paranormal exploring because we're legitimately exploring. We're not just sitting and doing an investigation. We're doing all sorts of stuff. In the dark. Yeah, not going in there. They're roughed up. You're not hurt. Anything in front of the door, you're not supposed to go in. What's this down here? Oh, um, that one's open. What's that? I mean, who's that? They've got the uh, windows bricked over. This lot feels heavier than the other one is. I didn't realize there were multiple levels of solitary. I never knew this was o over here. Watch your step or your step down. I feel really creepy over here. Yeah, this side is way worse than down low. My ears are ringing. My right ears. If we uh, break up a little bit, guys, just stick with us because we'll be back. I don't feel good on this side at all. Why does it have two pins? I do not feel good up here at all. Why does it have two pins? Isn't that creepy? Yeah, I don't feel good. I kind of wonder if I should set you guys up uh, in a hallway down here. Where's or maybe, Mexico? maybe a hallway. Hey, if you guys are hearing me, I know there's only a few of you right now. Would you rather be set up inside the cell or looking down the hallway just outside that cell? Because I'm thinking that. I think down the hallway. Down the hallway outside of that cell. Yeah. And that way if they see anybody crossing over. Yeah. I would say down the hall. Was there another floor? Wasn't there a third one? I don't know. I don't think so. Hallway. 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 Yeah, they're saying hallway. Yeah, in the cell, in the hallway, you're going to catch everything. Hallway. Watch out. Step up. Step up. We're gonna do a live all night and not even shoot an actual video. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go through. Well, I'm going through. <laughs> Is this where we just were? Yeah. Yeah. If you're going up to a level that we're not supposed to go. Doors closed. Ah, uh, doors. Well, it's we're not supposed yeah, to go. Yeah, it's closed. Through those things. Yeah, she... Well, that was fine because we just walked. No, we're back out here. We that was where we originally were at. It was? We just walked in a big circle. Okay. I'll let you go first so you can give them the tour. Because yeah. we've got to go to the second to the end. It'll be on your right now. It was on the left coming down. So it was on... It's going to be this second. one right here. Right? Yes, correct. That's the one. Yep. So, okay. So this is where they said that an inmate killed another inmate. Um, let's see. I could set you guys up. You guys tell me, because you're the ones watching it. I could set you up right here, or I would set them at the other end. I could set you guys up here, and you're actually looking at the entrance yeah. entrance way to the cell. Actually, I bring you back a little bit further. I think they should be facing that way. Which way? Shooting down this hall. Like back for them? So you get more sight? Or like this way? No, 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 no. Like back this way being more. How far will it show them? Is what I'm wondering. Because you got these two cells where that apparition keeps appearing and showing up to people. What do you guys think of this view? I think that's creepy cool. Viewers, any thoughts? 
Yeah, that's cool. Below the exit sign. I can show you guys what it looks like. I mean, that way you'll at least be real close to the cell. He's saying end of the hall. There you go. And then the cell you're looking for is... Uh, I can't really read what you guys are writing. Yeah, I'm also at the cell you're looking for. Right here. This is where you're looking for. Sorry, it's my hand. I like that. And then, can you step off to the side just a little bit, see what that looked like? Oh, shoot. Um, can, we need to run that battery power real quick. All right, here's the cord. I'll go get the extension cord. Okay. I'll go get the extension cord. If I lose you guys, come back to the channel because Yeah, it's a hundred foot. Okay. Might as well bring the music box and the cat toy as well. Now the thing is, I don't know how long the... Uh, actually, do I have... I don't know how long my light on my camera is going to work, but it's not going to make it. Let's see how far you can get it. Gotta hope it's got power in it. Is the end lit up? Oh, there's quite a bit on there still. How are you guys feeling about that view? Go ahead and comment, let me know. So anybody who's just tuning in, we're at, um, I noticed we got some more viewers. We're at the Mansfield Reformatory, Ohio State Reformatory, whatever you want to call it, in Mansfield, Ohio. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in America. Just three of us, we got the entire place for the night. Um, since we can't be everywhere at once, this place is huge. We're kind of tasking you guys to keep an eye on this camera throughout the night. Doesn't mean you gotta sit there and stare at it all night, but keep checking back if you want. I'm gonna plug in the music box. And if you're familiar with ghost shows, typically what happens is if there's any movement in front of it, it'll make that noise that you're hearing right now. When it does that, I need you guys to comment. Even if you want to chat up, chat amongst yourselves on the chat, if you can see each other, that's that's fine. But when you comment, it'll timestamp it for me. And what I'll do is I'm going to put it facing into the cell. That's the sound it'll make. And then I'm also putting a cat ball right here. If anything touches the cat ball coming out of the cell. You'll start seeing it flash. I want to make sure I can see that on camera. I'm trying not to kick you guys over. Make sure you comment, though. Don looks like a ghost. 
What are you guys thinking? Is that going to work for you? Um, comment real quick or hit like or whatever so I know, and then we're going to take off and do the rest of what we need to do. I hope that's actually... Okay, to all you guys, we're going up to grab our equipment. We're gonna shoot some B-roll outside. I don't have a cell phone on me, so we're gonna go grab our walkies and... I don't got a cell phone on me either. So... I wonder if I just put that inside the cell. That's what I'm gonna do. Did you walk in front of it? Yeah, I put my foot in front of it. Oh. So I put the music box inside the cell. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Yeah, because then you got a wall right there. She <laughs> come up with that. That's crazy. Bye, everybody. We'll check in with you in a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. They said they did not um, pop any popcorn. So whatever we were smelling, apparently people experience that all the time where they're, uh, they're getting smells of different foods. Um, also, we found out that what we experienced up in the attic, that little bit that you guys were with us, um, is very common. Me seeing somebody walk in front of me, also, that's their tongue. Um, also, Tammy being touched and what Don was seeing as well. So we just kind of confirmed all that. I'm down here alone right now. I don't really like it, so I am moving out the other way. Um, we're about to go do our solo sessions, and yeah, goodbye. This is really freaky. Let us know if you see anything.
our solos, we took a little break. Um, the plan is that, I shut this down for you. Oh, it's a little creepy. Like, yeah, it is a lot creepy. Christ. Mm -hmm. um, God, it feels really good right through that window. Oh, yeah. You feel that? Yeah. Um, so what the plan is, is I have no idea what you guys have been seeing, if you've heard the music box. Um, I just spent some time in, up on the uh, third tier. Greg took us around and told us the three tier, the third tier challenge is you have to walk all the way around with no lights on. I did that. Didn't do anything too crazy. I had an amazing flashlight session in the Lockhart cell. That's the cell where the guy actually uh, lit himself on fire. It was really, it felt like just I was just talking to him and he was interacting with me on the flashlight. He didn't like it when we talked about his death or when I talked about his death. Um, but I asked him, do you want me to continue to talk about your death? No, I think I asked him, do you want me to change the subject? Light on for yes, he turned the light on. And then we started talking about what he was looking forward to and things like that. It was really interesting. You guys didn't get a whole lot of No, no. I know, Don, you said you felt a little weird walking to your location. Yes, I, um, I, I felt like I was going to cry for a little bit. And that was after you guys left the chat room, right? No, that was when the three of us were walking. So when you were going to deliver us to where we needed to be. Oh, so that was up in the, by the cell. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, I stopped and looked back, but I didn't see anything. I just really felt like I needed to cry for a minute. I feel like whenever you're in this fucking room, which ironically is in something similar to this. Uh, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go up to the attic where they say that is the most active place. You guys saw that, or if you're still with us from earlier, you saw it when we went up there and we were seeing things. And we were only up there for like five minutes. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, I saw shadow figures, something walking in front of the light, something touched Tammy. Dawn seeing the mist in the and attic. Yes, you did. So we're going to go up that way. We're gonna, are we going to adjust them? And yeah, we're going to swap some things out for you. Because if you've been watching this for the last, like, I don't know, like four right. hours or whatever. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> um... <laughs> What we're going to do is have you face... Is that shit on that toilet? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look real healthy. But... Well. Oh. Aww. I just busted the cap off. Your balls don't work, Josh. Um, I think I turned it off. That's me. So yeah, we're going to have you guys face inside the cell where this guy was murdered. That's so worse. I think I turned it off. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave the music box. That just went back off and I didn't yeah. come off right in front of it. Yeah, it did. And Tammy's got the laser grid. So I'm going to show you how that works here in just a second, but I want to get you guys moved. So give me a moment. Um, I don't know if y'all been seeing anything or not. Oh, we still got four people watching. Um, that's actually pretty good for a Wednesday night. At what, midnight? Yeah. So you guys are going to be looking at... <laughs> or, yeah, let's do this. Let's back it up here. You should just, I should just back them all the way up to the end of the hall, huh? Or edge of the hallway. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I gotta see what you guys can see. Yeah. I know a bunch of people had to go to work, so our numbers are kind of low, but I don't really care. It's kind of fun still. I think they can always come back and watch it later. Yeah, if you missed any part and you want to relive this amazing experience, <laughs> um, it will be recorded on the live tab of youtube.com slash what's a Josh. Uh, so, the laser grid is an interesting. Um, I wonder if we can put the cat ball. You see that cat ball? My fat ass stepped on it, but I didn't break it. On the bed? Yeah, it's on the bed. I don't know if they're going to be able to see this. That's me. Oh, that bed goes down there kind of low. On the bar? Yeah. You guys can see that or not? And I might have to do. Yeah, you can kind of see the flashing. Hey, if you're still awake, comment. Um, where can we set the laser grid at? On the ground? I'm going to shut my light off here. Maybe it needs to sit on the... 
That you could set like right there mm -hmm. on that. Oh. I would set this right here. Ow? No, I'm looking right at that back wall. So if anybody walks by. Okay, so what you're seeing is the laser grid and the idea if there's anybody that moves in front of it. Um, boy, it would, would make more sense to put it over here somewhere. Yeah. How, what is it like if you just set it down next to the phone? Let me see it. How about that? Yeah. All right, so here's the way this is going to work. All, like, one of you or two of you. Um, if somebody on, walks in front of the music box, you're going to hear what, what you just heard. If somebody walks in front of, in the cell or anywhere between this laser light and the back of that cell, you're going to see, I don't know if you can see the, yeah, see that okay. shadow? I'll walk in front of it. Ready? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because you walk, you walk in front of the camera too. Oh. But you can kind of see my finger. Yeah, you can see your finger, yeah. All right, you guys see that? So keep an eye on that. If you spot something, go ahead and comment. Um, we're going to go do an attic session, and then we're going to come back. When we come back, we're going to do an Estes Method session in here. And we're going to do an EVP session. So, enjoy. Wait a Toys. This is the last thing we're doing for tonight. 
You may have heard some door slamming a few minutes ago. Our uh, guides went to start closing up. Uh, oh, they went to start closing up some of the administration. So I'm actually gonna. All right. Thank you. I'm actually gonna put this on the floor. Huh? And I'm gonna pick you guys up. Hang on a second here. Make sure we got. I always have video going. Uh, what's? I don't know how you shut that off. Pushing in like flashlight. And we're gonna shut this off. I'm starting to think this thing was a giant waste of money. It sounds cool. Okay. Sounds cool. But then again, you don't want tools that are gonna be going off Correct. constantly. I think that's why people have a problem with the flashlight method yeah. because it's constantly going. Oh, that's, we almost did that. Did that. Uh, cause it's constantly going off. But uh, all right, what do we got? Five people still. Um, you guys can comment, let us know you're, you're here with us, still awake. They're the diehard. Um, so yeah, one of the cool things that happened while we were out, we went up to the attic. You could hear things walking all around us. It was interesting because one of the conversations we had with our guide is that he likes to hear the building talk. And I think we've used those words before to try to quiet and listen. And that's what you guys were doing for the last five hours is being quiet. <laughs> and listening and whether or not you saw anything i don't know we'll go back and, and check out the Did footage what was it footsteps above us oh shit. like heavy footsteps um right mm -hmm. so up in the attic we went we did not of the three challenges we were given i walked tier three you did the chair room easily the attic i originally said oh i'll do it alone all three of us went up there went all the way to the end of the attic uh, you guys were with us the first time. Um, we lasted five minutes in the dark, turned the lights on on our cameras, and we did uh, an Estes Method session, which actually turned out to be decent. Um, didn't get any REM pod activity or K2 activity. However, when we went back to our base, I should rewind. We did hear them walking around us, walking yeah. circles. Somebody touched my necklace. Um, that was really weird, considering I'm wearing like a cross shield necklace. We met Pete. Pete, yep, Pete was a, a name that Tammy said when she went under. Dawn remembered seeing the name Pete on the wall. She walked over, but saw Tammy the name Pete. Tammy didn't read the wall. Tammy did not read the wall. So she wasn't near that wall. Um, a, lot of, a lot of dark things being said. Um, you, you, were under. you had me saying stuff about killers. You were saying stuff about being beaten. Um, very negative. So we got back down to our... Um, should be on camera. Hello, everybody. So we got back down to our little base camp area and... I mentioned that I really felt connected to whatever I was talking to up in Lockhart's cell. That's okay. the guy who, who put himself on fire and, and died after he didn't get his parole. So I was in there talking to him. I had an amazing flashlight session, like one of those where all the naysayers of the flashlight sessions can kiss my ass because that was a good session. That was right on par with what we had in Cottonwood. It was, yeah, it was, it was very close. If you, if you saw the Cottonwood video, it was a lot like that. And I came down and I mentioned, you know, I felt real connected with whatever I was talking to. And I mentioned, well, I got the Polaroid, why don't we go up there? And also Tammy to go in and see what she felt. And what you felt was very similar to what I felt, not negative, just somebody there that was kind of mm -hmm. like lost. And anyway, so the idea was to take the Polaroid camera and take a picture. And Tammy said, well, why don't you have him take a picture next to you? So I stood in the cell, Tammy took the picture. Asked the him to get really close to you. And I'm not kidding you, this has not happened with this Polaroid camera. We've been using it through all of our investigations through the season. Only half of the picture actually developed. The other half was instantly black. Yeah. It was almost like, black. almost like he was leaning up against me like this. And anywhere yeah. where he would have been, it was black. Split, not even right down the middle. No. Just, just where I'm at, you can see where I'm at. You can't see where he's at. It's no. really weird. Um, so just to check quality, I stepped out of the cell, took another picture inside the cell. Perfect. Um, picture came out just fine. So I'm gonna post that to the Paranormal Exploring. Actually, I'll post it to the YouTube channel at some point, maybe tonight when I get back to the hotel. Um, Lord knows we won't be sleeping. It's, it's, it's worth checking out. So, we lost a viewer. <laughs> somebody, fell, somebody fell asleep. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put Dawn under on the Estes method. Um, do you wanna sit on that? You asking me? Yeah. Is that what you want to do in there? Okay. Tammy, how are you feeling? I'm whatever. About that. Okay, let me for our streamers. We can't forget our cat box. Yeah. 
I think everybody fell asleep, but that's fine. That's fine. You want to sit down over there so I can, like, just get this pointed, and then I'll get my main camera. Ooh, you're blurry. There you go. Like, anywhere? Yeah, wherever is more comfortable for you. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so... Microphone, or... I'll let you set it all up. I have it in my hand. What you got? Do you need? Oh, we got that. I got the audio. Let me grab the. Let me get this ready for her. Is this a certain prison cell or no? This was a, an inmate was killed in here. Yeah. And his body was hidden underneath. Yeah. <coughs> what do you need? Spirit box. Oh, I have it. Right at you. I need to explain this on my camera too, but... Okay. I wouldn't put those on quite yet, just to kind of hand it to you to get ready. Okay, and then... Take this. So, for anybody watching, this is just the analog recorder and a microphone. Um, all right, and we get a K2 up here. Just to, nah, it's not gonna work. What's setting it off? The metal? Yeah, that's gonna be a give us a false positive, so we're not gonna mess with that. Yeah, no. Um, and then, how about we just set the run pot up down here? Yeah, because we always hear things opposite of where we are. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I don't feel threatened down here like I did in the attic. I don't, I don't even have the jeebies. I would let you go if I did. Okay, so for our streamers, the REM pod set up further down the hallway. Um, we're not going to do the music box. And i got to re-explain everything on this. Okay, right, so we're in solitary confinement. Um, I see Tammy. Oh. Oh, Dawn. Dawn's in here. This is, uh, <laughs> Dawn is in the cell where um, we were told an inmate was killed in here. His body was hidden underneath the bed. Solitary confinement, very dark place for a lot of inmates. Um, puts them in a questionable mental status. Uh, what we've set up over here is a few different items um, next to her. This is just a new way of us using our analog recorder. I know it looks kind of goofy. That's just a microphone for EVP audio. Um, that's going to be right next to Don in case anybody comes up and wants to talk to that. And then further down, I put the REM pod. And just a reminder of how all this stuff works, you have to physically break the barrier around the REM pod to get it to go. Um, as far as the Estes method, Don's going to have noise canceling headphones on. And he forgot the word. Oh well. Maybe I'll it was, say it to Maybe it was meant to not happen. Okay. Um, she'll have noise canceling headphones on, and she's hearing radio stations cycle through on a spirit box. And the idea is she is completely out of really yeah. any. She's immersed in this. Well, if it tells you, you know, in the attic how freaked I was, I didn't hear any of that banging that you guys did. Yeah, and actually, I want to do one more thing. Um, sorry. You got the cat ball there, too. Let's go replace the cat ball. Cat ball replaced. We're going to put a, I don't know if you guys can see it on the live stream or not, we're breaking out the old flashlight. Let's go on with this. Okay, so I don't know what you guys can see on the, um... Oh, I thought I shut your mouth off there. Yeah, you did. But actually, we're going to shut this off. 
y'all don't need it yet. Because you got me here. All right. Don, are you ready to go under? Okay. okay. All right. So what we'll do is we'll ask her questions, give her a few seconds, and see what we can do. We've got the works going right now. I think I'm going to say it next to that, too, so they can hear it. The word is happy. So if that word is said, that's the secret word. Is there anybody down here with us right now? Are you glad we're here? Have you been silent all night because of the viewers? Go! Go? Yeah, shut your eyes. Just You have to shut your eyes. Your eyes gotta be shut. Your oh. eyes have to be closed. It's literally just. Well, we just started asking questions because yeah. we've been talking. Okay. That's that's what it'll do. Yeah, but you gotta keep your eyes closed. But whatever okay. word you're interpreting, that's what you gotta do. Yeah. So for anybody that's watching, you, you the eyes have to be closed or blindfolded. When I flash the camera, that's it. Let me uh restart here. Okay. Were you housed in this cell? Two. There were two of you in the cell. Where were you? Go away. Well, we want to talk about what happened. Do you stay down here? Were you murdered in the cell? Forgiven. See ya. Forgiven. See ya. I didn't want to talk about it. Empty. Did you forgive the person who did that to you? Or did you do it? Do you go anywhere else in here? Behind. Hmm. No. Location. Okay, are, are you behind the cell on the other side? Four. Four. Isn't that where you know her? Floor. So mine was the fourth floor. Is this Lockhart? Did you follow us down here? Are you protecting Josh? Go. Go. It's like he's telling us to get out of here. Yeah. Early. I think he's protecting you. Is the dark coming? Hybrid. <laughs> She's out of there. Are you worried for us? Can you send a good? I invited him to follow us around there. Yes, she did. I did when, when I when I was up there. I said spots. Yeah, you can't Four. know where we go. Yeah. And he keeps going to the floor. Can are you for, can you go towards that blue light and make that go off? Track. Open. Are you tracking Josh? Is there evil down here? I feel like he's protecting you. 
for whatever reason. Again. Go. It's telling us to get out of here. Yeah. It's like I feel like it's protecting you and it's keeping everything out. I say you go under. Down here? Yeah. If it's protecting you and you're under and we're asking the question. Okay. Let's kick her in. Not kick her, but. Oh, you know. I don't want to hit her or <laughs> touch her because then she'll jump. <laughs> so we're starting to think that Lockhart followed us down here it's and protecting is Josh. like keeping shit away from us. Well, he's protecting Josh. So my logical thinking is let's put Josh under yeah. and let us ask the question. Okay. Um, because I think just by what you were saying, like that he followed and the spots because Josh invited him to come with us. I said you can come to the attic with us, you can follow us around inside the prison. I said I know I know you normally don't get the run of the place, but if um if you want to follow us around while we're in here, feel free. I mean to. he took his picture with you. He showed up clear as can be. Like, I'm not gonna sleep tonight, just to point that out. Like, like, I'm right back to where we were at the cottonwood. I mean it's clear well the difference is we're not sleeping here. True, but also But it's clear as can be that he has this Thing for you because you gave him respect, probably. So I say you Prison go though. under. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And I'm, gonna, <laughs> and I'm gonna totally change the questioning up, totally different, and from where Josh and I was, just to see if Josh gets answers. All right, so you make sure that stays out of yeah. one of us. Um, I'm gonna pull this up. We are stepping on it. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're back to six. Don, do you kind of want to like run this mm -hmm. and just kind of obviously it's it might actually be charged up. I started to say I bet you could unplug it. And if it just starts to run low, just plug it back in. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yep. Um, just watch out for this. So that way our live streamers can. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. So I'll give you that. And Tammy, just remember to flip that on and I off. I will. I need. I think I need to change so I can see Josh. So Josh is going in the cell. I think that I'm just gonna set it on the floor and see what happens, or hold it. Um, I think this person's following Josh because he invited him to come with us. This I'm just afraid this is gonna set it off. I'll just pull the like. What the fuck? Why would the toilet be setting it off? I don't know. I think we're getting false positives in here though. There's no way the toilet should be set. They might have power over here. Maybe. I think they do. There's a light. Okay. All right, that's not going to be. No, that won't work. All right, you ready? Five minutes. You got the if, on. if he's with you, though, Josh, that REM pod should be in front of you. Yeah, you want to grab it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But if he's with you, this is going to be me picking up the REM pod and making the noise. It's dark in here. I have to shut it off because it's driving me crazy. We got 15 minutes and we gotta start packing our stuff. Okay, turn around and set her up. I think if he's by you. Right, you guys got a way of watching time, five minutes. Yep, I'm it's gonna watch. 2.15 right now. 7.15 I'm here. You ready? Yep. Five minutes. Okay. Are you Josh's friend? Call him his friend. How do you feel right now? Well, that makes me feel better. He's not getting anything in here. Can you touch the antenna for Josh? Go ahead. <laughs> Upward. So you were from up above? So. Do you like music? What kind of music do you going? listen to? We're not going. Uno? What just, what was that? I don't know, something just banged behind you. Did you feel the vibration? Yeah. I heard it, but. Like something just 
Yeah, it was a loud bang. It felt like something just like, I thought this fell over. No, it didn't move. It felt like something fell over on. Yeah, I heard it bang. And that was after you said go. I think it's trying to keep you to go. What? I heard something over here. At the other cell? Or inside there with you? I don't think I can do this. Like, okay. I'm frightened beyond belief right now. Do you want me to do it? I honestly think we should go. Okay. Like, I heard something growl from over here. Okay, then we're going. Like, I'm not because even, your buddy told you twice to go. I'm not even fucking with that. Like, your buddy told you twice to go. Yeah, we're we're going. We are going. That, thank you, thank you for keeping us safe. I heard like what? It was a bang. It was a loud bang, and I. It felt like something fell right next to me. Yeah, but it didn't fall. I was watching because that's the first thing I looked for. Um. Because we gotta roll up the cord yet. I thought. For sure, like, yeah, I'm not fucking around with whatever's in here. I've never been like, huh, I, it was that, it stopped recording. That wouldn't have made <laughs> the whole bed bang. I don't know, man, it might have. But either way, I heard a fucking growl and it scared the shit out of me. I'm, and so that guy was protecting you. I am done. Flashlight. Flashlight? I thought it went off. No. You got the cat ball? We got to get the cords. Yep, you already got the cat ball. Um, yep. How are you feeling, Josh? I heard that growl, and I don't like that noise. Describe the so, growl. Uh, it sounded like something was like rumbling over here. Like? Like it's... No, it sounded like it was like, a, it was very faint. And I wasn't getting any, I was, I was getting very few words in the... Um, and all night that spirit box has been going crazy. Yeah, you got the red blood somewhere. Did I put that in my backpack? Yes, you did. Um, I'm a little rattled. I can't. I'm alive. Let's go. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Bet with me. Are you coming back? Mm-hmm. Like, we were just gonna walk our shit straight out the door. <laughs> were my words making any sense? Uh, yeah, because I asked at first you were happy or. Whatever I said, are you protecting Josh? And then you're like, go. I was talking to him about being your friend. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was fucking bad one. Now what did I do here? Because all night long that thing has been going off. What's that? Words, lots of words, and both of you had struggled to even get any words. I didn't get anything. I, well, I chalked it up to be us being in a basement, but we're not. We have windows right next to us. You kind of did get things, Don. You just didn't know. Yeah, it. you did. Yeah. Oh, you okay. did get things because we figured out he came down with them because Josh invited him. And Josh told him to come from the fourth. And you kept saying fourth, fourth, fourth floor. So you did get things. You just didn't understand oh, okay. you were getting things. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. This is Josh getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, you're fine. I just heard growling back there, so I'm done. Oh yeah, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Who ran your That could have been a tape recorder. No, it was not the tape. It vibrated. You know, your line of records it so you can go back, right? And it, yeah. this was going too. Yeah. Because the first thing I did was look and make sure that it was fine. Even if it was the tape recorder. As soon as I took the headphones off, I heard a growl on the other side. Can keep that going. Yeah. Okay, so that hopefully I'm not here, but I know I saw this up. He was like, "All right, I'm going now." <laughs> yeah, I'm like going. that was messed up. Is your picture still black? Yeah. Sure is. Yeah, let's show show the live streamers the picture. I don't know if if you guys can see this. So this was the. This was the first picture I took in a cell where the guy killed himself. We had a conversation. He was going back and forth with the flashlight with me, intelligently. When we took a picture, Tammy said, stand next to Josh. He did that, and that's what we got. We have not had any of our photos develop like that. Um, oh, we got a, the other fly feed going over there. And then just to confirm that there wasn't anything wrong, we took another picture. 
and it came out okay. So, anyway, we're gonna wrap up the live stream. Uh, watch for the video, end of October. I don't know how you end it. Just to confirm that there wasn't anything wrong with another.